For your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire, the channel that spreads the gospel of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus to the talent he has given us. And as you can see from the title of the video, in today's video we want to also take a look at the breakdown of the goodness of God, but this time in the key of E. Yeah. So if you have been following this series that I've been doing, you realize that anytime I... Okay, so so far I've played it in the key of A flat, F and now key E because you guys requested for it, right? So you see that anytime I play in a different key, um, I come out with a different vibe, right? Guys, so that's why I, I always encourage you guys to learn how to master all the 12 keys. Like, it gives you diverse varieties when you are playing and you don't even appear to be very predictable, you see? Yeah. So, quickly, let's take a look at the major scale of E. For those of you who don't know how to, play E very well. Let's take a look at the major scale of E. And as I'm teaching, I'll be breaking, I'll be spelling out the chords and the notes within the chords. So that if you are still interested in transferring these chords to any other key, it will be very easy for you to transfer just by listening to me, okay? So, E is our 1 or our do. Then F sharp is our 2 or our Re. Then G sharp or A flat is our 3 or Mi. Then A is our 4 or Fa, right? Then B is our so or five. Then um, C sharp becomes our la or six. Then E flat becomes our T or seven. Then do E is our one. Okay, so I might be mixing the number system and the tonic so far. So I may say four or five. I hope you don't get confused. Okay, I myself don't even remember all the things I played. Okay, because I was just flowing by the grace of God. So let's all watch together what I did, and then I'll break down exactly what I was doing. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the intro that I did. Um, I, I I picked the intro intro from this point. Um, so that's how I picked the intro from. Okay, this is how I did it. Um, now remember, in the intro, you realize that there was a bass guitarist there, and I've always said it on this channel that if there's a bass guitarist, you, you don't do you don't do octaves on your left hand. I mean, this kind of things. But don't play heavy bass chords, but rather you convert your left hand uh, octaves into chords. So basically, the progression for the intro is on the four, like four, four or five. Then I may I, I play the three. Then six, then two, then five. So if you look at the video, this is how I play this. This is the four, right? Then 
I did a seven, seven, then three, six, then I did a flat five. Then, no, I did, uh, this should be a five, right? Then to the one. Okay, so this is how I played the four. So the lick I played on my right hand was one, also do re mi, or five, one, two, three, over the A major seventh chord. So this is over the four bass notes, okay? So this, this is how you can play a four in the key of E. So the A major seventh, I have the A, C sharp, E, and A flat, right? So I have the four, six, one, four, okay? So this is a chord, right? Then I did the seven, three, six, what you probably call a T major, right? So that was, so this is the T, the seven, which is, um, the, the, the minor third, the flat three, okay? And then six, and then two, with my left hand over the T, okay? Then my right hand is playing six, two, four. Then this is a three. So with a three, I have um, two, then flat six, one. My left okay two flat six one and on my right and i have the e major chord the one major chord so five one three five so do me so okay that's a three okay so i have that's a four then go seven seven then okay so this is the six we are playing now look at the six an e major ninth chord so on my left i have one three five seven that's the e major seven and then on my those on my left and on my right hand i have the five seven two okay then the next chord instead of going to the two i substituted the two with the flat five or the phi not re so with the flat five i did yeah this is a lick i did on the flat five but take a look at my left hand first i have the two, three, flat five, six. Now, because these chords are just these, this, this, the chord itself is made up of only black keys. It's very easy to play. But look at what I did on the right hand. So it's like I'm playing a B, a B major first inversion, but I've taken away the five. So it's like um, seven, five. Okay, two, six, flat five. So. Or I can do, yeah, I can do this. So I'm doing a grace note using the A flat to the B flat. So okay, yeah. So we have then another set. Then flat five. Then this is a five. Play this on a five. So on the five, you will see that I have a four chord on my left, which is four six one or fa la do. On my right hand, I have uh, um, the what was this? The, the flat six one and four. Okay, then back to the one, one the normal one. Just play normal one, but make sure you play an, an E chord, not an E bass notes. E chord because so the bass guitarist is active. Okay. So you can choose any one you want, any inversion you want for the one, okay? Yeah, that's a true. So, then we go to the I love you Lord. Let's check the I love you Lord. I love you Lord For your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in the goodness of God. Okay guys, that was a lot today. Let me show you this five I played to the one I did. Okay, then before the I love you Lord, before the I love you Lord, so I did. So basically what I'm trying to play on my left hand. Now, here the bass guitarist is gone. Which means now I have the right 
to play these octaves, these stretches and bass notes with my left hand, not chords. Otherwise, my play will sound very light. So I did this. Okay, so this is a five and four on my left over this chord. Now, this is what C sharp minor seven chord, which is um, six, one, three, five. Okay, but you see, in order to add some flavor to it, I played what? So I did five flat five and four before I hit the bass note. Then I did um. That's a one I love, you wrote one. So look at this one. I have one six eight one five seven. Then I have two it's basically two and seven. But you see I did a rule from the E flat, so I see sharp down to the E flat, so so you see was maintaining so yeah, so learn it. If it's too difficult for you, just do and be free. So then I did this chord. I did uh, so I love you, Lord. Then I did then that's like a five. Now I I just played this five to wait for the singer to come and sing. Them for your mercies never failed me, right? It fails me. Yeah. So I have a five and plus seven. Now, if this if if this stretch is too much for you to do, then just do five octave. But if you can do or do this, okay. But if you can do this, it will be very nice. And then the chord I have in my right hand is four six two. Okay. So I love you, Lord. Then. Okay, for your mercy, then the four. So you see, we all know that for your mercy is what on the four, right? I just have four and one on my left and on my right, and I have three, five, six, one, three, okay? Then one. So this is a normal one. But then I did a certain person called here, that was like to the six. Okay. Yeah, so I did this person called. All of these stretches of chords are taking me to the six, okay? So I did. So let's take a look at it. Uh, it's like a one. Okay. So I'm giving you a new one. This is an E, E major nine. You can see from the screen, right? So I have a one octave. Look. Then this is the chord itself, which is three, five, seven, two. Okay. Then on the seven, which is an E flat chord. I have the E flat minor eleventh chord, so I have now this is a stretch, right? So six, sorry, seven flat five two, and then I have flat five six, then uh, flat two, okay, then three, yeah. So as I mentioned, the names of these chords, you can easily transfer them to any key. So I just said what seven flat five two. Just play a seven flat five two in any key you want, and then play what flat five six flat two and three. Okay, so we have uh, then now this over the three, which is um three seven two, and with the back right hand I'm playing an E diminished seventh chord, which is what the four flat six and um, uh, seven two. Okay. Then to the six. So the six, I have a six octave on my left. And on my right hand, I have one, three, six, one. Okay. So combining all together, it will be what? Um, um, then you come to your four. Then one. Then we go. Okay. Then we want to go to the next part of the song. So, like, all oh my days. I've forgotten the lyrics there. You know, we are never interested in lyrics. We are just interested in the musical part of it. But we all know the song. So from here, we go to the right. But I didn't go to a four. From the six, I didn't go to a four. But I went to a two. Okay. 
So that's a, a pure substitution over there. But before going to the two from the six, I did. Okay. So this one will change the game for you. So here yeah, I didn't intentionally play a stretch like this, but I did. Yeah. So hit your six or the or the or the C sharp, and then come and hit the flats too. Don't play together. Okay. Over this chord. So what I'm playing, this is a quarter on my right hand. That's what the five, one, four. Okay, so now take this chord down by a semi tone. Okay. And then add the two to it on your left hand. So yeah, so from here, take this E flat down to the C sharp. Okay. Yeah, so down to the five. Okay. So this is a five. I have five, two, and then I have four, six, two. Now, playing this chord allows me to do this. Sorry. Yeah, it allows me to do this. This is very easy, right? That's an expression I like doing on the five after playing this chord. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So, after playing this chord, now what I want you to do is maintain your form. That's what you are doing on the right hand. So, take the four, now play a five flat six down to the six, eight up to the six, okay? Then, come and spell this one. So, four, five, flat six, okay? That's what the right hand is doing. So, just try it. And then, have you seen that my four fingers are involved? It makes it very easy to play. Yeah. And then from here, let me see. So this is what the, le the, the, the left hand is doing. So the left hand is doing, is, is doing the six, then seven, one. Then we come back to the six, flat, seven, seven, okay? They just combine it, that's all. Okay, so. So, um, uh, let's pick it from here. Then we did. Then five. Then. Okay. Then. Yeah, I remember I did this one. Then to the six. Okay, so let's do let, let's let's learn this movement. That's why the I have no new as a father comes in right. So to the six right. So let's break down this movement. But this is very simple. I mean, pick pick it from here. You see this? You can call this what what a C sharp diminished seventh chord. Okay. Why it is a C sharp diminished seventh chord is this. This is how we construct a C sharp the linear seventh chord. But take a look at the rest of these two notes. It's the same as what this one and this one. So that's why it's still a C sharp the linear seventh chord. In fact, I can even continue like this, and it's still a C sharp the linear seventh chord loop. I'm going to show you one. This is still a C sharp the linear seventh chord. Why? It looks. Normally, a diminished seventh chord is made up of four notes. Now I'm playing eight notes. But still the same chord. Why? Because I have just found a way to extend it to eight notes using the same um, note that makes up the C sharp diminished seventh chord, which is a four note chord. I'm just repeating the notes. Okay. I can even turn it into see. So this will, all of this is what a C sharp diminished seventh chord. I haven't done anything new. That's why the chord name from even from the screen has not changed. So this is a C sharp diminished seventh chord. Take this whole thing down by a semitone. Okay, so so this is like a one. Okay, imagine this is a one. Take it down by a semitone. Now then you play. So this one becomes your seven. If this is a one, if I play this one over a one. 
then it means that if I bring this whole thing down by a semitone, it will be a seven, right? So this is a one seven, then to the six. Now the six, I decided to play a six octave, and then an E major seven chord, the one major seven, which is one three five seven key. Okay. So we have then play a four again. Then uh, so. So that's so let me see. Um, then then I have known you as a father. Then the rest of the lyrics, the four. Now we can go to a seven three six again. So we can just so do our seven like this. Then our three like this. Okay, so we have done this seven already. Then yeah, the three. Okay. So the three I have three, three seven two, and I have flat six one two five. Okay. Then we can do this. Remember we did this, right? But because there is no bass guitarist this time, I have to play a six. Yeah. So instead of playing this with my left hand, this time there is no bass guitarist, so I'll do this. So remember, the moment a bass guitarist comes in, convert these stuffs you are doing on your left hand to chords so the same thing okay so we have then we have okay then then i will sing i did yeah so there's a tritone on the two okay so i have two one and then i have the tritone for the two which is actually flat five and one okay yeah if you want to understand all of these things, go to our playlist. The title of, of that playlist is Music Theory. Yeah, you see four concepts on tritones and the rest there. Okay. So I did three, four, flat five. Then the five. Then I did this. Yeah, that's what I did. That's a one. So basically, is this chord? Is this chord? Is this chord? Yeah, over the one. Okay. So I have now. I did this because have you noticed that I've come back to playing chords with the left hand? This should tell you that the bass guitarist has joined. Okay, but this is over the one. Okay. Yeah, this is over the one. Okay. So on the left, I have flat seven two four, and I have flat seven two four six over the one. Now, for the sake of time, the lesson will be very lengthy. So I want us to end here. I mean, practice hard. So you see, um, we are not coming to do all my life I have been faithful, right? And the rest of the song. I want you to practice this. In the next lesson, we will do a part two, where we will start from the all my life I have been faithful, okay? Mm -hmm. So before then, I want you to re-watch what I played Practice the chords and play along with it whilst we are waiting for the part two to come, okay? And God will really bless you and let's meet in our next lesson.